God. Let's go again. So, my name is Sheila, and I'm here to recite memory verse. Lesson 1, Revelation chapter 1, verse 8, and it says, I'm the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Lesson 2, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11, and it says, For no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Lesson 3, 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 15 to 16, and it says, But as he who called you is holy, you also be holy with, with all your conduct, because it is written, Be holy, for I am holy. Lesson 4, Revelation chapter 2, verse 3 to 4, and it says, And you have persevered and have patient, and have labored for my name's sake, and have not become weary. Nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. Lesson 5, Revelation chapter 2 verse 10, and it says, Do not, do not fear for what is, for what you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw some of you into prison that you may be tested and you will have tribulation ten days. Be faithful until death and I will crown you the, and I will give you the crown of life. Lesson six. Lesson 6, Revelation chapter 2, verse 14. But I have a few things against you. But I have a few things against you because you have allowed that human Jezebel who calls herself prophetess to teach and seduce my servants, to commit, to practice sexual immorality, and to eat things sacrificed to idols. Lesson 7, Revelation chapter 2, 2 verse 20, and it said, Nevertheless, Revelation chapter 2 verse 20 and it says, I have a few things against you that and that you have some there who hold the teaching of Balaam who taught Balak to put a stumbling block before the sons of Israel that they might eat the food sacrificed to idols and practice sexual immorality. Lesson 8, Revelation chapter 3, verse 2, and it says, Be watchful and strengthen the things which remain that are ready to die. For I have not found your works perfect before God. Lesson 9, your works see I have set be I have set before you an open door and no one can shut it for you have a little strength and have kept my words and have not denied my name lesson 10 lesson 10 I revelation chapter 3 verse 15 to 16 
I know your works, that you are neither cold nor hot. I wish you could. I wish you. I. I could wish you were cold nor hot. Nevertheless, you are. You are lukewarm, and neither cold nor hot. I will vomit you out of your mouth. Out of my mouth. That's on eleven. First Peter chapter. First Peter chapter five verse four. Yes. And when the chief shepherd appear, I will crown you the. I will crown. I will give you the crown of glory. That does not. That does not. Fade away. Thank you. Celebrator, celebrator, celebrator. You can go. Praise God. My name is Sarah and I have a memory loss. Lesson 1. Revelation 1, 8 and it says, I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Lesson 2. 1 Corinthians 3, 11. It says, For no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Lesson 3, 1 Peter 1, 15 to 16, it says, But as he who called you is holy, you also be holy in all your conduct. Because it is written, Be holy, for I am holy. Lesson 4, Revelation chapter 2, verse 3 to 4, it says, And have persevered and have patience, and have labored for my name's sake, and have not become weary. Nevertheless, I have this against you, that you have left your first love. Lesson 5, Revelation chapter 2 verse 10, it says, Do not fear any of those things that you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to throw you, to throw some of you into prison, that you may be tested. Lesson 6, Revelation chapter 2, verse 14, it says, But I have a few things against you. You have, you have there those who, who hold to the doctrine of Balak, who taught Balak to put a stumbling block before the children of Israel, to eat things sacrificed to idols, and to commit sexual immorality. Lesson 7, Revelation chapter 3, verse 15 to 16. It says, Nevertheless, I have a few things against you that you have allowed that human Jezebel, who calls herself prophetess, to teach and seduce my people to commit sexual immorality and to eat some things sacrificed to idols. Wow, celebrate her, celebrate her more, 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 some more, some more. Wow. Praise the Lord. I, I will request you that you should not laugh at me. Amen. Revelation chapter 1 verse 8, the Bible says, I'm the Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end, says the Lord, who is and who was and who is to come, the Almighty. Then lesson 2, 1 Corinthians chapter 3, verse 11. For no other foundation can anyone lay than that which is laid, which is Jesus Christ. Uh, lesson 3, 1 Peter chapter 1, 15 and 16. It says, But as he who called you is holy, so also be holy in all your conduct. For it is written, Be holy, for I am holy. Uh, lesson 4. Revelation chapter 2. Hello? Revelation chapter 2. 
verse 3 and verse 4. The Bible says, And you have persevered and have patient and have have labored for my name's sake, have not become weary. Nevertheless, I have this thing against you. You have left your first love. Lesson 5, Revelation chapter 2, verse 10. It says, Do not fear for those things that you are about to suffer. Indeed, the devil is about to take some of you in prison. You'll be tested. You'll have tribulation. 10 days uh, be faithful until dead for I will give you the crown of life lesson 6 revelation chapter 2 verse 14 it says I but I have few things against you there are those who hold to the doctrines of Balaam who taught Balak to put a stumbling block before the children of Israel to eat things offered to the idols and commit sexual immorality. Uh, Revelation, lesson 7, yeah, Revelation chapter 2, verse 20, it says, Nevertheless, I have few things against you. You have allowed that woman, Jezebel, who call herself prophetess, to teach and seduce my servants to eat food offered sorry let me repeat nevertheless i have few things against you you have allowed that woman jezebel who call herself prophetess to teach and seduce my servants to commit sexual immorality and eat sacrifices offered to the idols lesson 8 revelation chapter 3 verse 2 it says be watchful Strengthen the things which remain that are about they are already to die, for I have not found your work perfect before God. Uh, lesson 9 from Revelation chapter 2, verse 8. I know your works. See, I have set an open door before you. No, no one can shut it, for your strength is little. You have kept my word and have not denied my name. Revelation chapter 3 verse 15 and 16. I know your works, you are neither cold or hot. I could wish you were cold nor hot. So then, so then, let me remember Kidogo. So then, because you are lukewarm and neither cold or hot, I will vomit you out of my mouth. Revelation, uh, sorry, that is uh, lesson 11. Lesson 11 comes from First Peter chapter 5, verse 4. When the chief shepherd shall appear, you will receive the crown of glory that does not fade away. Last lesson, Revelation chapter 21, verse 4, it says, And God shall wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death, nor sorrow, nor crying. There shall be no more pain, for the former things shall have passed away. Celebrate Jesus. Amen. Amen. Be blessed.